Welcome to the Empower Charts introduction video. This video is based on the Power Charts 8.9. In this video, we will cover the following topics. What is Empower Charts? Where do I find it in PowerPoint? We will insert a new Empower data chart and explain basic functionality. We'll do the same thing for a gun chart, and then we'll talk about basic functionality for Excelinks. So let's get started. What is Empower Charts? Empower Charts is a PowerPoint add-in that allows you to create uh, powerful charts with advanced functionality, such as in-chart legends, some labels, different types of arrows, and many other functionalities, such as powerful number formats. Um, and it's also easier to create these charts, and the charts are also brand compliant if you have a um, bespoke customizing for Empower Charts. You can also create waterfall charts, also very complex ones with multiple series and breaks and other aspects. And you can also create gun charts, which are project plans that have a set of activities, a timeline, and then you see where each activity starts and ends in a graphical way. You can also add additional information such as milestones and also status information. So this is in a nutshell what Empower Charts is made for. Where do you find it in PowerPoint? You will always find it in the Insert tab. So here you have a group with the Empower Charts buttons. If you only have Empower Charts, then you will find the same group also on the Home tab. If you have Empower Slides installed in parallel, um, the Empower Charts functionality will be inserted at various places within the Empower tab. One important thing to note is that the Charts button is a split button. If you click on the lower part, you will see the um, menu to create a new chart. The upper part of that button opens the Slides library, where you can also find chart templates. Right, so let's get started. Um, if I want to insert a new chart, you can, if you have also multiple placeholders, select a placeholder, um, go to Empower Chart, and just select the type of chart you want to have. So let's now maybe switch to Excel, where I prepared some data. You can copy paste that. Of course, you can also link that, but we'll cover that later. So I copied that, go to Edit Data. I can insert that here. And then I have my um, yeah, updated chart that represents this data. You can do many things inside the chart. So you can drag labels. You can also drag um, these um, access lay or sorry, series labels. Um, you can, if you click once, recolor one data block. If you click twice, you can uh, recolor or format the entire series. And yeah, depending on the chart, you can also do other things inside the chart. So then let's talk about the menu for a second. So here you will find the possibility to insert various arrows. I will just do this very quickly here with um, one um, growth arrow. And if I hit OK, then you have one. You can also edit it here. In the data labels menu, you will find a lot of settings to configure all the data labels. In the series menu, you will find settings to configure entire series. Also to switch, for instance, um, one series to align to create a mixed chart. In the properties menu, you will find general settings for the entire chart. So bar width or font size or configuration about axes and so on. With data, you configure the order of series and categories and also the orientation of the chart when it comes to how it's structured in Excel versus here. And with edit data, you get to the mini Excel representation where you also have a useful toolbar to do certain uh, data transformations. Right, so this is in a nutshell how an an Empower data chart uh, can be used. Now let's talk about the gun chart. So again, I click, click into the placeholder where I want to have that. Um, if I don't have that, um, you can also draw basically where you want to have your gun chart. You will then get a wizard that helps you where you can directly yeah, configure the important settings. For instance, from where to where does your gun chart go, um, which maybe you want to uh, take control over from where to, uh, which um, 
levels of, uh, of the date line you want to see. So maybe the year, the month, and the week. And you can also configure other settings like how many um, faces and rows you want to have and if you want to have notes columns. So this helps you to save a lot of clicks later on. And then inside the gun chart, you can just either draw um, objects or you can use uh, here date pickers. Or you can also go to edit data where you have a mini Excel representation of the gun chart and you can uh, enter um, the start and end date as well as a label, um, as well as other information. And there is also help text below that helps you to work with the Excel uh, to fill a gun chart. Mm, we'll make a separate video to go into all details, but mo most of the stuff is self-explanatory. So you can insert new rows, you can insert uh, various other objects here. You have uh, in the properties menu, general settings um, to configure the look and feel of the gun. And uh, you can here also link uh, your gun to an external Excel file. Right, so, but in a nutshell, I think you understood uh, pretty well that you can just uh, graphically create your project plan and um, enter the information you want to visualize. Right, then let's talk about Excel links. So there are different ways to create Excel links. I will just show you maybe two of them. So if I want to link this chart to an external Excel file, I can just select it, select data, Excel link. And it will show me the open files that I currently have open. So I select this one. I have here selected the table. Um, just hit OK. And now this chart is linked to that external Excel file. Another way to uh, create links is to start the process in Excel. So if I want to visualize this table in a PowerPoint table, I can here go to the Insert tab and say, I want to link my selection to an existing object in PowerPoint. And I can click here on this table and say, create link. And then I have a linked PowerPoint table um, yeah, that shows the content I yeah, enter in, in Excel. You can also enter um, just pure text links. So if I pl place my cursor here and right click and say, create an Excel link to this file, and link to this cell and hit OK. Then I also have basically here a text field, which is now linked to Excel. If I want to get an overview of all my links in, the, in this presentation, I can go to Excel links, Excel link manager, and then I see the three links that I just created. And then I can also change settings here. Right, so this is it for the introduction video. And yeah, thank you for your attention.